is Russell Ruder, I'm a state senator from the Ruder District of Big Island. Um, I discussed at quite some length at your last meeting some of the issues with the primary election on the Big Island in the aftermath of Storm Cassell, where thousands of voters were disenfranchised uh, from two different human caused errors in the judgment that, that showed the fact that was not much concerned with what the actual reality was on the ground in the district that was affected. Now, we have another uh, situation in Puna, as you well know. The one difference is now there's a lot of time to prepare for it. Uh, he self struck and caused a lot of damage two days before the primary election, and it was difficult to know what to do and how to assess the damage at that point. But right now, we have a situation with a lot more lead time that could cause at least as much disruption and inability to get to the polls. There's a lot of uncertainty about it. You might call the situation fluid, no pun intended. But I, I believe that in advance of the general election in Pune, some action should be taken. Um, I don't know. I, exp I share the frustration of the previous speakers in not knowing what, if any, action you folks have chosen to take before I make comment on it. It's a difficult situation to meet. But there's a couple of questions I would ask that are relevant. It's been widely requested that you live stream this event, broadcast it to your interest in other items. I don't know why that's not being done. I personally requested last time, and I know others have, that you make video conference testimony available to this commission. Because it's extremely difficult and expensive for people our items to come and testify before most of us can't do it. Apparently that's not an option. Once again, even though the problems that we're dealing with are on an outer island, and I ask you folks, why not? It's a very simple, fixable problem. I also requested that it's entirely within your power to hold a hearing on the Big Island or in any affected district. Uh, no hearing was held on the Big Island based on our last election disaster or in advance of the upcoming one. And I ask you folks, why not? That is one thing that's within your power to do. Most of the problems occurred from someone in Honolulu not having any understanding of what was happening in the Puna District. And those problems remain exactly the same now facing the general election. <coughs> it's the consensus of the politically involved people in my neighborhood that the right solution for the general election upcoming is mail-in only ballots for all of the uh, affected district precincts in Moa. We do not know at this time which precincts will be accessible, which neighborhoods will be accessible. <coughs> but we do know that there is a very uh, substantial possibility of, of a serious disruption in, in accessibility. And considering all the uncertainty that can be resolved and have fair, equal access to voting rights for all the people in my neighborhood by a, by a mail-in ballot, I believe it's a, 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 the power of the office elections to do that. It's an unusual step. We have an extremely unusual situation in what we're doing right now. I don't know if you folks have cho chosen to take no action after the problems of the primary. I don't know for mistaken. Um, I assumed that when the, the subsequent meeting was scheduled for October 3rd, I assumed the response was no action. I think that's what the state in general assumes. For, forgive me once again if I'm wrong. I respect every member of this commission. I understand the, the contributions you make to be part of it. And I understand the attraction of not taking any action. But if no action is taken again this year after the problems of two years ago, after the problems of the primary election, which were severe, I know you guys don't understand it, but in my neighborhood, it's an outrage what happened to us in the primary election. If no action is taken by this commission, I have to ask you folks, you know, un uncomfortably though it may be, 
it's your responsibility to address this issue. It's your responsibility and there's nobody else here to do it. It is your responsibility to take action when action is needed. If action is not needed this year, I have to assume there'll never be any action that's not a responsible uh, approach to take. If no action is taken, assuming no action is being taken, I do want to communicate to you the widespread disappointment in my area in particular <coughs> and statewide at the lack of action. So once again, at the minimum, I urge you to provide video conferencing to visit affected districts when something big happens and to provide for all mail-in voting in our district. And please, please prevent another man-made disaster caused by the election. It's still in your power, and there still is, is time to prevent another such disaster. Thank you very much for your uh, for listening. And of course, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to get <coughs> uh, this commission that's care of the election of and of the procedures. We don't want it to be a misconception that we don't care. Thank you. I just want to go on record to that. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you care. Thank you very much.